Hello all, welcome to this new lesson. In the previous lesson, we discussed about keywords in C language. And in this lesson, we are going to learn the different rules that has to be applied while naming your variables in C language. Okay, so let's get started. The rule number one says, variable name must begin with a letter or an underscore, right? So whenever you are creating a variable, then the name for that variable must either begin with a letter or an underscore. Right. Say, for example, as you can see on the screen, the variable names size and underscore color, okay, are considered as valid variable names, right? Whereas the variable name eight color is considered as invalid variable names, okay? It is because the variable name eight color starts with a digit, right? So in C language, okay, you cannot start your variable name with a digit. It is not allowed. You will get a compile time error. Okay, so that is why it says variable name must begin with a letter or an underscore. So this is the rule number one. Okay, now let's go to the rule number two. Rule number two says variables are case sensitive, right? So this is more of an information rather than a rule. Okay, that is variables are case sensitive. Okay, it means the lower case variable name sum as well as the upper case you know, variable name sum, both are considered as two different variable names. They are not one. They are two different variables. Okay. So this is the rule number two, right? Now let's move on to the rule number three. The rule number three says, okay, variable names can be constructed with a combination of digits and letters. Okay. With a combination of digits and letters and letters can include both uppercase and lowercase. Okay. So as you can see, I've given you an example over here. This is a variable name, which is basically a combination of uh, both letters as well as digits, okay? And as you can also see, this variable name contains uppercase letter as well as lowercase letters, right? So this is rule number three, right? Now, let me go to the rule number four. So rule number four says that while naming your you know, variable names, you cannot use any kind of special symbol other than underscore, right? So no special symbols are allowed other than underscore, right? So therefore, uh, as example, as you can see on the screen, my underscore name, some underscore of underscore two underscore numbers, right? So these two variable names are considered as valid variable names, right? Because underscore is a special symbol and Underscore is the only special symbol that you can use as part of your variable name. Okay. Whereas the name some dollar two numbers is considered as invalid variable names because your variable name cannot have any other special symbol other than underscore. Therefore, because we have a dollar symbol over here, so this is considered as invalid variable names in C language and writing such variables will result in a compile time error. Okay. So this is the rule number four, right? So now, let me see uh, what is there in the next slide, right? So in the next slide, there is no rule, but uh, I have a very important note for it, right? So this is a very important note that every beginners must definitely understand, okay? So it says variables should be declared in the C program before its use, okay? It means whenever you are creating a variable, it has to be created before it is actually used, right? So in my first example, as you can see, I have created my variable A before it's used over here in the printf, right? So this is valid. This is the valid way of declaring your variable in C language, right? Whereas uh, here in this case, in the second case, as you can see, I have already made use of A even before declaring the variable over here, right? So I'm using A and then later declaring the variable A in the next line after printf. So this code will result in a compile time error, okay? And this is not allowed, right? So that is the reason it is told variables should be declared in the C program before to its use, right? So before using the variable, wherever it is, you'll have to first create it or you'll have to first declare it and only then you will be able to make use of those variables, okay? So uh, this is the end of this lesson, okay? So I hope you understood what are the different rules that you'll have to follow while uh, creating your variable names, okay? So in the upcoming lessons, I would be uh, uh, teaching you about the different operators that are available in C language. And I'm also going to classify these operators into two different classifications in the next lesson, okay? So having said that, hope you like this lesson. If you like this lesson, then don't forget to like my video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the updates about my upcoming programming series. Okay. So having said that, meet you in the next lesson. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Love you all so much.